Thank you to, well, MSI for bringing us to Computex 2015 this year, and also thank you to Lynda.com. All right, guys, welcome to the MSI booth, where we will be checking out the GT72 2QE Dominator Pro in either the Toby IX version or the G-Sync version. Now, the basis for this laptop already exists out in the market. You can already buy it. Uh, it has a fifth generation Broadwell 5700 HQ processor, a 980M from NVIDIA for the graphics. It has four M.2 slots, one two and a half inch slot with a one terabyte hard drive in it. You can RAID zero those four M.2 slots. It has a 1080p screen all that good stuff. What's new about these two models is that in the G-Sync model, fairly self-explanatory, it comes with G-Sync, and in the Toby model, you have Toby eye tracking. For I.O., we'll start with the back. On the back, you have your dual exhaust, one on each side. You also have a Kensington lock, two mini display ports, HDMI, Ethernet, and power. On the left-hand side, you have two USB 3.1 jacks, two USB 3.0 jacks, four three and a half inch audio jacks, and an SD card reader. On the right-hand side, you have a Blu-ray drive and dual USB 3.0 ports. What's new in both of these units is the Nahamic audio processing software and killer networking 1535 wireless AC. The G-Sync version has a G-Sync module inside of it, which can help you remove tearing and stuttering from your gameplay. This is something we've seen on the desktop side for a very long time, but not something we've seen in laptops until Computex 2015. The Toby IX version does not have G-Sync technology, but has the Toby SteelSeries eye tracking technology in it. You can actually see right on the bottom of the bezel those three little red lights. That's your Toby eye tracking. Now, I've released a video of Toby eye tracking from CES, I think a year or two ago, when it was still under development. It's much easier to use now. The calibration system is much more simple. And they have a few cool things like Windows login, where there's a huge array of pictures, and you just have to look at your three password pictures and then it lets you in. That's pretty cool. Also, we were able to play Assassin's Creed and some little like beat bouncing, look at the right circle thing game, which was kind of fun. It's much more seamless now, the calibration's easier, and it's just a better overall experience, but eye tracking still has a little ways to go. And speaking of little ways to go, the G-Sync version of this laptop will be available very soon, and the Toby IX version of this laptop will be available not this year, but probably early sometime next year. All right, guys, let me know what you think about these two laptops in the comments down below or on, on Twitter at Luke underscore LAFR. Also, thank you to, again, MSI for bringing us to Computex this year. If you want to see all the rest of their stuff that they brought to the show, check out the link in the video description down below, including their laptops with Broadwell processors. Also, thank you to lynda.com. Check out their link, lynda.com slash Computex to get a 10-day free trial and start learning today. If you guys want to see all the rest of our Computex coverage, stay subscribed to Linus Tech Tips, like, dislike, favorite, share, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.